in this particular Tosca lesson, we are going to talk about another useful KBox automation module, which is called the evaluation tool. Now, this is part of the expression evaluation section in your standard subset, which is provided by Tosca. And this module can help us to perform different types of comparisons whose result will be returned as true or false. So by default, your action mode would be verify because you are performing a verification, okay? Now, the only thing which you need to pass here is the expression. So expression is nothing but um, how you are going to compare two particular values, like whether it is equals equals, not equals, less than, greater than, so any kind of uh, comparison operator, right? and you have to use two values so which you can make a comparison okay and in this expression you can use any kind of dynamic expressions right so you can compare a buffer with another buffer a buffer with a configuration parameter a buffer with a normal uh, or dynamic expression right so any kind of comparison is possible and it's a very powerful uh, evaluation tool uh, which tosca provides uh, through which you can basically perform any kind of comparisons Okay. So let's look at a practical example and see how we can use this uh, evaluation tool module in our regular automation. Okay. So for this purpose, uh, I'm going to use this particular application, which is the demo web shop. Uh, my scenario is to click on the login button and then log in uh, with the email and password and then verify whether the username is displayed on the page or not okay now i'm going to show you two ways of doing this one is uh, the generic way which uh, we have already learned like you uh, use action mode verify and then you use the inner text to verify whether it matches a particular value or not right now what i have already done in the background is i've already created a module for this and i have captured all the elements which are required or scanned them and then I've also created a test case with different test steps. Okay, now when I run this, you will see that uh, it is going to verify uh, that particular username, but it is not using the T-Box automation module. It is the first way of doing this, which is the normal verification, okay, which is using the action mode verify. So let's first see this, and then we will see how we can change this around to use the T-Box evaluation module and maybe make it more dynamic um, than the current version of what we have done, okay? So as you can see, uh, scenario is pretty simple. It logs in, it verifies, and then logs out, okay? And in the verification step, you will see that uh, verification was successful. Uh, it is comparing uh, the expected value with an actual value, okay? Now, if you look at the test case, uh, the first step will open that URL or application. The second step is clicking on the login link, and then um, it is entering the email password and clicking on login. Only difference uh, in email and password, we are not using normal text, but we are using uh, a configuration parameter for both username and password, whose values are stored here, okay? Um, then there's a verification step here. You will see I've used action mode verify, but I have used uh, this particular expression, which is in a text equals equals the configuration parameter of username, which will basically return me the value of that configuration parameter. And then it will compare that, okay? So, and then uh, it is going to click on log out and this is perfectly fine, right? So there is nothing wrong in this but you can make it more better, okay? A better way of doing this is also using the T-Box evaluation tool, okay? And let's see how we can do this. So here, uh, let's first disable this particular step. So if you don't know how to disable a particular step, you can right click and then select disable, okay? It will ask you for a reason and uh, either you can specify or you can leave it as it is. It has a timestamp and the username who is disabling this, okay? Now, um, we are going to 
add our own step here. Okay, and I'm going to use the T box evaluation tool. Right. And this T box evaluation tool is going to sit here and uh, let's change this name as well. Okay, so I will say compare values or compare email. Okay, and uh, in this expression, uh, you can see action mode is by default verify and expression we need to pass uh, two values and the comparison operator. Okay, so one of our values we know it's our uh, configuration parameter for username, but the other value is uh, not the inner text of the username. I want to capture the value of that particular control in a variable and then I'm going to make a comparison between that variable and the configuration variable. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, for that, I would require another particular step, okay, uh, where I can capture this particular value. So let's do that. And I'm going to add the module which is required for this, okay. And I'm going to drag it before my compare email step. Here, I'm going to say buffer. Uh, email okay and then this is the control which i need to buffer so i'm going to change the action mode to buffer and here i'm going to uh, provide a particular uh, buffer name okay so i'm going to provide email right and then coming to our expression so our expression would be so buffer of email right and then equals equals configuration parameter of username so pretty simple comparison but as you can see both are dynamic expressions and i'm comparing two dynamic expressions here okay so the scenario still remains same but i've shown you two ways how you can perform this uh, automation on this particular scenario okay now let's run this test case and see whether the result is still the same or there is some problem, okay? So let's run this and let me close this window. So it's going to log in and then it's going to check for the username, but there seems to be a problem, okay? And you will see this in log info. It will show you what's the exact reason. It is saying missing end of file. Now looking at the error, you may be able to guess that it is maybe not able to compare uh, two expressions because of the different characters, special characters which it has. So you need to also escape if you are using any special characters in your um, values, okay? So what we need to do is uh, we need to provide here, okay, quotes for both these expressions so that it can basically escape any special characters in your values, okay? Now, if we go ahead and try this again, this time it should pass, but let's see. Okay, it successfully logged out. That means um, the scenario has passed. And if we look at the comparison, you can see uh, now the values are compared correctly because we have escaped any special characters in these two values, okay? So it has evaluated to true. That's what is returned by the T-Box evaluation module, okay? And you can see here uh, also, uh, we have created a buffer email which has got this particular value, okay? So you can see um, how I'm trying to use different things here in order to automate this very simple scenario, but it's one of the most common scenarios which you'll face for any web application. So I've shown you both ways how you can do this and it should be very useful when you are trying to um, use different T-Box automation modules which are provided by Tosca, right? Rather than rewriting your own um, automation or designing it separately, right? You can use or reuse this automation modules which are already provided by Tosca. So that's all for um, how you can compare uh, different dynamic expressions using the T-Box evaluation tool.